Welcome to my lecture online. If the previous problem took more than three minutes, the next problem is going to go a little faster. So that's the case with the JE main and the JE advanced test. Sometimes you take more than three minutes to solve a problem, but then you might get one that takes a little bit less. Here's one of those you can probably squeeze out in one or two minutes. So it deals with orbital motion. It says consider two satellites, S1 and S2, with periods of revolution one hour and eight hours respectively revolving around a planet in, a, in circular orbits. The ratio of angular velocity of satellite S1 to the angular velocity of S2 is, and they give us four possible answers. Now you might say, well, since the ratio of the period is one hour and eight hours, the ratio of the angular velocity may be that as well. Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. So, what is the concept? And by the way, the, the little drawing that I put up here was not part of the test. I just put it on there to make it a little bit easier to visualize, but that was not part of the test when they gave it to them. All right. So the concept here is the relationship between period, frequency, and angular velocity. So it turns out that the period is equal to 1 over the frequency. The frequency being, of course, the number of times it goes around per unit time. And then we also know that omega is equal to 2 pi f. Now, omega is the angular frequency, but it's also proportional to the angular velocity. So here, angular frequency would be 2 pi times the number of times we go around per second. And of course, the concept of angular velocity is that angular velocity has units, and I'll write it like this, units as radians per second which are the same units as angular frequency, which is 2 pi radians per 1 over second. So the units for angular uh, frequency and angular velocity are the same. So there's a similar concept there. So now what we need to do is we need to realize that they're looking for, so this is what we'd call the concept that we're dealing with so that we understand this relationship. So now, we're looking for the ratio of their angular velocity. So we're looking for omega 1 over omega 2. Now omega can be written as 2 pi f. So it would be 2 pi f1 divided by 2 pi f2. And then we realize that the frequency is equal to 1 over the period, right? The inverse. So notice that the 2 pi's cancel out. And so this gives us 1 over t1 divided by 1 over t2, which is equal to t2 over t1. And so period 2 is equal to 8 hours. Period 1 is equal to 1 hour. And so the ratio is 8 to 1. And that's the answer we're looking for. And notice that is answer A. And where did my red pen go? There you go. So answer A is the correct one. So you can see that once you understand the concept, you can very quickly run through the logic and find the answer in less than three minutes, giving us a little bit more time for the next problem that may take more than three minutes. And that is how it's done. So, a little bit easier, J.E. main, compared to J.E. advanced.